The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Good Monday morning, everybody. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien coming to you live. And we got a positive market. Dow Jones currently positive 280 points or 1.2% almost trading 24,471. S&P's positive by 25 points or almost a full percent, 2644. And NASDAQ positive by 72 points trading up 1.1% 1 .1 at 6947. Good Monday morning, Tom. No, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Good, man. Good. Well, so, you know, you, we got a new a week, new market Friday. Yeah. New uh, week, new we'll market. Right. Totally. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if uh, we can get some follow through here. What's going to be intriguing is that, um, you know, when you get fast markets, you're going to get big bounces. There's no doubt about that. The real question is going to be, do you get this thing going on light volume and it's just setting up the next leg down? And that's where my you know, that's what I expect we're going to have out here. Um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. So. You know, check this out. This is pretty intense. You know, we were talking about the VIX. You're talking about the aspect of, you know, how fast we came down. Look at this trade. This is, I'm sure some of you folks might have seen this, but there's a trade out here that a uh, small hedge fund had done, Tom. Yes, I was reading that article earlier today. I saw that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So, what they were doing, folks, is that they were buying options on the ProShares double VIX product. And uh, bottom line is that uh, they've been doing this for quite a while. Let me put this up here for us. And what you had here, I got to get rid of that thing. How do I quiet him down? There we go. Okay, so what the outcome was is that they were basically rolling two hundred thousand dollars yes um and bottom line it came in uh they were they were buying the options on the let's get the product here the product was the s x v y right or s v x y yeah. um it was yeah. the yeah s yeah s x v y which is and the pro share short vix short term um, right, and yeah, I have the I have the article up right in front. So this tiny hedge fund just made eighty six hundred percent on a VIX bet, and yeah, it's basically two hundred grand to seven point seventeen point five million. Um, right. Now you know I, I skimmed through this, but did this say? I mean, this it doesn't actually go into. You know, it it could have been a hedge in some capacities as well. Um, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. It, it goes into it goes into what he was doing. What happened is this: is that one of the guys that actually um, first put together the VIX was saying for a long period of time that this thing's going to blow up. Sure. There's another writer that wrote a whole scenario um, of how it would blow up, and. What they did is this, is that they decided that the, the marketplace was saying that it's one in 5,000 chances that this would happen. When they did the numbers on it, Tom, they come up with one in five chances. Okay. Yeah. Remarkable. Yeah. And so Isn't that I, a trip? It is. So some of the specifics. On January 2nd, the managers put down 200 k on what looked like a lottery ticket with each SVXY put costing 34 cents. And on February 6th, they sold the 6,300 contracts at about $28 each, leaving them $17.5 million for that 200 k um, Yeah. Pretty remarkable for sure. It is. It's, you know, it's... Yeah. And, and they do. I mean, the... Let's see. The 20-person firm manages about 350 million, so that was only 200 thousand dollars of the 350 million. I mean, it represents you know a five percent rise. So they they had other stuff going on there as well, but pretty oh, yeah. remar pretty remarkable. Pretty cool though, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. You, you knew they were out there, right? And I think we'll see a few more stories coming out of, you know, just like when um, 
you know, the housing market collapsing. You know, you have you have you have people that are placing short bets as well, um, and those stories will get highlighted as we see kind of that that volatility for sure. Yeah, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. Um, you know, this market out here today, it's going to be intriguing to see, you know, if it can actually hold. Um, thus far, it doesn't look like it's going to, which is going to be a shocker uh, in the context of, I think, uh, what people are looking for. You know, out here this morning, you can still hear in most of the news is that, you know, it's almost all clear to come in and buy. And sure. every time, if there's too many like that, folks, you just... When you get a downdraft like we just got, you know, you don't repair that downdraft in two seconds. There it's should like be a little fear, right? There should be yeah. a little natural fear for sure. Right. Um, and there's not. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> I do. You know, we had the, and, and part of it probably does have to be how we finish the week up, which was definitely a, on a positive note better than oh, we yeah. could have for sure. Yep. That changed the conversation and allowed that. But still, you're talking about the worst week we had, you know, the headline, you know, in at least a couple of years. And there's a variety of ways you can probably look at that that make it even worse than that, right? Um, but, yeah, starting the week off in, in, on a positive note, Monday at a positive note, uh, excuse me, Friday at a positive note. But, man, we got, we're only 42 minutes into the trading week. No doubt, Keep man. Keep that in perspective, totally. And if we go over, you know, if you go to the Nadex platform, folks, we get the beginning of the week. If we go look at... Um, Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, you know, this, this, this little baby uh, out here, this, let's see, XB. Where are you? There we go. No, yep, and I have one. it up right now. If you, I mean, oh, we're, cool. I, we're trading at 85.93 right now on Bitcoin. Uh, this morning, the high seems it was about 5.30 a.m. We got a run up to almost 89,000. 88.45 looks to be the high. So the spreads for the weekly, they have an $8,000 spread this week. They always open right at the middle, right? So you're going to get these opening up Monday morning. And so 8,700 was the middle of this spread when it opened, which I believe was around 8 a.m. Yes. Um, and so you can see 8 a.m., you're, you're pretty much trading just about 8,700. From there, they set the spread. They give you 4,000 up to 12.7, they give you 4,000 down to 4.7, and from there you can trade it accordingly with your defined risk. And you know, right now, what's gonna happen is you can trade them one way or the other, and you're, you're getting in basically at market. You can see the bid offer is $20 away from where the price is. Price is 86.04, call it 8,600, and you got an offer at 86.20, you got a bid at 85.80. Pretty cool. No, no doubt. And you know, I just, when I pulled up the, uh, we get some trading happening in them in the future market. You can see BOE, they've already done 1,788 contracts. Now that's one coin per piece. Uh, CME, 400. So that's at 2,000 coins. That's not bad for early in the morning. Okay. I, you know, I think we're in, a, we're in a range here right now, which uh, whether you're a bull or a bear, it's, it's kind of neat. Do you know what I mean? Yes. No, definitely. Um, you know, but just like in the markets, we've gotten enough action in Bitcoin that you could get a two-way market. You know, we got to spike all the way down to 6,000. Which represents, I mean, gee, 60, 70 percent off the top, right? We're at 20,000, so you lose almost 14,000 in value down to six. But then guess what? You almost get a 50 percent run off that all the way up to nine from six. So, so you get action both ways for sure. No doubt. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 205. You get the NASDAQ up 42. S&Ps are up 14. We have gold trading up 980. Silver is up 34 cents. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, joined by Tom O'Brien. We got markets positive, Dow Jones positive, 226 points, trading 24,417. S&P's positive by 17, NASDAQ positive by 45. Pulling back a bit off the highs we made, but still relatively holding well for the type of swings we saw around the opening last week. Um, but again, not even an hour into the trading week. It'll be interesting to see where kind of the, the day leads us. Oh, well, today's going to be a big one. You know, the reason being, I suspect, you know, the futures, we had the futures up like one and a quarter right across the board. The Dow's, the okay. S&P's, the NASDAQ, right? Now, the NASDAQ gave it up pretty quick. We're only up a half a percent. The S&P's are still kind of there. Uh, the Dow is at like eight-tenths. Um, that's pretty intense, you know? So we're going to start getting used to bigger numbers now. And, uh, you know, they sold those small caps down quick, Tom, you know? Sure, uh, yeah. And I just even just j jumped over to a NASDAQ 100 <clears throat> because at about 9.45 this morning, looks like the futures I'm looking at, we're trading 65.15. And yeah, from there, we're, we're down a full almost 65 points. You're talking about yeah. a full percent. Um, you know, markets, you know, the NASDAQ 100 is trading at 6,500, and we're down 65 points from that high we made at um, 945 when the market was already open this morning. So a full percent. And, and as I speak, these are five-minute bars I have up. And um, this five-minute bar, which is about to wrap up in 10 seconds, going from 10.15 till 10.20, started off at about 64.70. And we're finishing 20 points lower in that five-minute bar as we, uh, as we go. And what is interesting is that now we're approaching the level that we're at just about 15 minutes before the market opened, um, which is where we were. So pretty remarkable that from in the last, call it an hour, it's literally about an hour and five, hour and ten minutes, we got up a percent and down a percent. <laughs> I know. And, you know, it, it, that you is, know. That's, yeah. Isn't it intense? It is. I mean, a percent up and a percent down in the first hour of trading of the week. Um, that's that's where we left off last week. You know, that really is in terms of just both sides and hold on for sure. And, you know, folks, if you want to understand, you know, when we're talking about defined risk, you know, inside the Nadex platform or option platform in general, they had that down pat this morning too, Tommy, right? We talked about, you know, the premiums that were built in the market on Friday, right? 
I had looked at them and I didn't want to pay the premium, so I went in the gold market, right? Yep. This morning, you know, bottom line is I bring up the the 80 point spread on Nasdaq, right? Okay. And the we were trading over the 6490, which the top of the 80 point spread this morning was uh, 6490, folks, right? And I'm looking, I'm saying to myself, I would have had them basically sell it at 6460, right? Okay. And I says, okay, no, I'm not going to go for that. But the thing that's intriguing to me more than anything is that it's like, how do the option traders get it so right? I mean, because, yeah. you know, that, no. that was a real deal. Oh, again. for you know sure, I mean? right? It's so, like, you know, I pulled up the spread. So you're looking at the daily, you're going from 64.90 down to 64.10. Okay, yep. so we were up, um, you know, even above that level, but many times trading at 64.90, whether you're looking at 10 o'clock, we were there, whether you're looking at 9.30, we were there, we were there at about 9.45 as well. Um, yep. So when that spreads trading 64.90, you're going to have, if you're, if you're selling it, right, you're going to have profit potential all the way down to 64.10. And, right. you know, that's where you want to download the demo account and become used to this stuff because even though you've gotten that dramatic move, right, the market definitely priced it correctly as in looking for some movement today, which is, you know, I'd say we, we're, we're getting that, let alone we have six hours almost to go until this contract expires. But what is remarkable is making that trade, you would have needed more movement than you're getting though, right? Because right now, right. we're almost, the middle of this spread is at 64.50. So that's where you really want to become used to it. You know, if you're selling this spread, let's say it's at 64.90, and let's say they would have let you sell it, whether it's, you know, 64.60, maybe 64.65, right? You'd be paying about 25 points in the NASDAQ, but you can see that even getting it down to 64.58, you're only at 64.54, you know? I mean, you would have been risking 25 NASDAQ points there or $250, and you only would have been about 10 points in the money maybe, somewhere That's around right. there, right? So you would have been right. hoping for more action that you've even gotten already, which is pretty remarkable that you got, right. you know, three quarters of a percent from that level movement, and um, still you'd kind of want more action than that. And that being said, now, now's the trade though. See, see the difference? What's happening now, folks, is that you're at 64.50, they were at 64.48. This is where you want to get used to it, because to me, that's the trade now. It's like, okay, the, the premium got squashed, we're in the middle now, now I get some action. Do you know sure. what I mean? Sure, yeah, and yeah. this just kind of becomes a futures trade, right? As in, you right. know, you're, you're able to buy it or sell it at market with defined risk up and down. You know, $800 represents the 80 points, it's basically bid offer right around because 6450 is the middle and as we speak it's just accelerating downward as yep. we speak we're now almost right. at 6440 um, but yeah when that is at 6450 that's when you're going to be able to buy it or sell it right at market and you have basically equal risk to the downside or upside for your profit potential which is why they're giving you basically the ability to buy or sell at the market yeah yeah, you gotta love it. Oh. And you know, if we go over to that gold market for a second, and we were talking about you can buy it this morning. It was the same type of trade. Uh, you know, we're at thirteen twenty-four right now. They have, they have a thirteen hundred out there um, that you basically would trade in it just like the future. You know, okay. bottom line is that there was you know maybe one tick of premium in it. That was about it. Sorry, um, can you just say I, I'm pulling it up to tell me where were you again? What were you looking at? What spreads? Or? There's 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 two now this is what's in you really you want to follow this too folks there's two 1300 bottom trades there's a 13 to 1350 and there's a 13 to 1400 okay yes. and what you're going to see there if you're going to trade that that's what i'm trading right now that was tick for tick also i traded just like the futures and of course in that particular case you want to go for the 1400 because they weren't charging any more premium. It was the exact same bid and offer. Sure, which is and a, I got both you know. of them up even right now. Um, so you have 1300 to 1350, yep. and then you have the 1300 to 1400. Yeah, so if you're buying these, you can just see, I got the screen up, they're trading tick for tick. Now the reason why the market's pricing these, as in the ability to buy this, and each one, I'll just set it up, so on each one you're gonna have the same exact risk, but look at your profit potential, right? Exactly. And so it's a great point where, you know, realistically are you going to get more than 25 dollars of gold movement in the next three hours 
No, that would be a very unrealistic, you know, but is right. it possible? Yes, it's possible, you know, and that's the difference. And that's just to explain why people would say, well, why is the market pricing this, you know? And the market's pricing this because maybe once a year, maybe once every two years, you know what I mean? You might get in the span of this day. So the market's comfortable with giving you $25 of risk to the downside because realistically your profit potential is not going to be more than $25 as well to the upside, which is why they're they're giving you basically the ability to buy it or sell it at market. But guess what? Why, you know, you, you'd be a fool to cap your profit potential and you don't even have to pay any more. So sure. that's a good point right. for sure. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Oh, I mean, definitely. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You know, S&P's, man. S&P's giving it up. Okay. Choking. They're choking, baby. Where are we at now? We, we are only up three S&P points. Pretty remarkable. We just came down 32 S&P points. <laughs> Pretty remarkable. Yeah, we were up um, basically like 9, 10. 26.55. Okay. Pretty we'll amazing. We got a three-minute break. We'll see where we are after three minutes. Watch out. <laughs> Seriously. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 109. NASDAQ's up 12. S&Ps are up 2.5. Gold's up 860, silver's up 32 cents. Come right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, everybody. We got Dow Jones currently positive 150 points, 24, 344. S&P is positive by nine. NASDAQ positive by 22. Yeah, so quite a little slide we've seen in the last 45 minutes. We had highs at about 945. Market lasted 15 minutes, man. We made it 15 minutes after the opening bell, and from there, we've begun to slide. Um, and I, I expect no matter which way we go, we'll see some seesaw in one way or the other. Yeah, there's no doubt, man. <laughs> yeah. This this is perfect to get the bulls and the bears on edge, you know? Oh, for like, sure. Like, okay, which way are we going? We got a great bounce on Friday. You know, can the can the bulls do it? The bears are saying, hey, you got a nice bounce. I'm going to sell the bounce. Right. I mean, that's a night, you know, on. right, you know, when you combine the, the bonds we got on Friday with coming into the week, you know, Dow up 300 was the headline I was seeing this morning. Sure. If you were looking to short, that's a nice opportunity to short at levels that you, you can see some acceleration as opposed to it's tough once, you know, you get a 2,000, 2,500 point slide in the Dow, where are you going to short it, right? You short it when you get a bounce, man. And that's we, exactly. we got a bounce for sure. Exactly. So you this week, I just want to mention, we have the open house going on in the Tiger's ah. Den. So all this month, you can get into the Tiger's Den. You get 30 days free. We got a good crowd in there this morning, chatting it up. Plenty to talk about. Our man Basil Chapman did his program at 8 a.m. today. He's sidetracked a little bit in the middle of the day. So he was in there doing his live show, a bunch of Tigers in there. You can come on over to the front page of TFNN. We only do this pretty much once a year. So I would be shocked if we did this again throughout the uh, this calendar year. That's not to say it's impossible. Maybe around the holidays we like to do it, but realistically, it's a once a year sale, Tiger's Den. We open it up for 30 days. You get in there, pay nothing for 30 days, try it out, chat. You get to chat with the hosts, all that good stuff. Everything's archived as well. And um, I encourage people to check it out. Tell your friends, tell your family, get them in there, 30 days free, and uh, you'll be in there rocking and rolling in the Tiger's Den. No doubt. This totally. is the perfect time to do oh. it. Volatility, man. Seriously. So let, let's go look inside the Dow Industrials. We'll see uh, what's putting the strength inside the Dow out here today. Uh, right now, you got it up 147 points. You better talk you know, quick. Week. It's going down every second now. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, you know, you have Boeing. Boeing's the number, man. It's going to be interesting to watch this whole thing. Boeing on the way up, Boeing on the way down. So out of the 127, 27 positive points of Boeing. Apple's 20. United Health 17. Caterpillar's 10. Uh, taken away from it, Johnson Johnson's 10 negative, Disney's 4, Travelers 1.7. No, no big deal there. I mean, it's kind of in intriguing. Um, nothing really heavy. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. We've hit a high of, uh, man, the NDX 100 really gave it up pretty good. We had a high out here today of 65.13, and you're at 64.34. So the move is out here. Uh, this is uh, M-E-L-I. This is a big internet stock out of South America. That's up $16. That's a $300 stock. Amazon's up 9 Alexa, um, that's Alexan Pharmaceutical. Yeah, Alexan Pharmaceutical uh, is trading up $4. We have, uh, put this back again. Oh, Alta Salon is down 5%. Vertex is down 2%. NVIDIA is down 2.6. Let's go to Alta Salon for a second. This is an, an equity that was definitely a high flyer that's having a hard time. Yeah, it's still not bad. I mean, it's up the high of uh, 314. You're at 207. Looks like, yeah, the bottom of that 187 looks like it's going to get tested. So we get volatility, man. You know, uh, if you were waiting for trading markets, folks, we have them. There's. Uh, and they're, they're good trading markets. If we go to the gold contract, now gold's caught a bid. Uh, this is a, this is, I like this setup because, you know, the, the gold equities, they got toasted pretty good the last couple of weeks. Uh, they came back to the December strength, um, and it looks like we're taking off out of that strength. So, you know, the contract, this contract hit 309. That was last Thursday. This is where we broke out in the end of December, the beginning of January, and we're getting strength in this today. Let's look at the silver contract for a second. Silver's been the lagging, man, in a big way, too. So silver's up 2.2% today. We had 51,000 contracts. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, silver came back into its strength from December 14th. 
Silva's going to show us, though. Silva's going to show us that it wants higher price, and it can keep higher price. Look at this market trade. So we, we were just, at the last break, Tommy, we were, the Dow, the S&Ps were up three points. We're up 14 right now. Yeah. We got a market. Said, you better talk quick with those quotes, man. They're changing by the second. We got a market. No totally. doubt, man. No doubt. It is pretty remarkable, that Boeing. Anytime you have a stock, you know, trading $300 priced, um, yes. you know, you get a $3 move and that's only a 1% move in the stock. Meanwhile, $3 price weighted, that's going to push, you know, some huge action in the Dow. Whereas opposed to, you know, you have stocks in the Dow that are trading at $50, $60, a 1% move for them is only going to be a 50 cent move, you know, which I is going to have one sixth of the price movement that the same percentage move might have. And when you look at the market cap of these companies, they're pretty comparable. But for some reason, uh, price weight is the way they go. So Dow can Isn't swing, it? man. Dow can swing for sure. Yeah, the, well, check this out. Like um, this morning, it's interesting. So the news on Airbus. Now, Airbus doesn't trade in the United States, folks. Uh, this, this trades in France, but it's only down uh, one euro. The thing that's amazing to me, though, is that the, <laughs> let me see. Airbus, now they came out with this this morning. They said that 30% of their Pratt-powered Air 320 jets are flawed. <laughs> it's like, really? My goodness. <laughs> I know. I mean, it, Airbus said almost one, almost a third of its Pratt and Whitney powered Air 320 aircraft are affected by a new engine glitch that has forced European plane maker to halt some deliveries of the popular narrow bed, uh, narrow body jet. Uh, of the 113 Pratt powered aircraft in operation worldwide, about 30% are equipped with either one or two flawed engines. The plane maker said in an email response to questions from Bloomberg News today. The issues are different from faults that have previously affected engines types and are the most and are from the most recent batches to come off the production line. This is like crazy, man. That is crazy. <laughs> I don't want to take I'm not gonna take no way bus, man. <laughs> no, it's crazy, I agree. And I'm trying you know, I'm pulling up an article as you talk about it. Yeah, so um It's like what is the flaw, man? You know? Yeah, it said about 30% of the 113 Pratt-powered A320s in operation worldwide are equipped with either one or two of the flawed engines, Airbus said Monday in an email response to questions from Bloomberg News. Um, yeah. Seriously, man. We have to be digging into that. So it's impossible to overestimate the importance of the A320 for Airbus. It put the European plane maker on the map three decades ago, allowing the company to go from a spec in Boeing Company's rearview mirror to powerful equal, become the de facto duopoly in the global civil aircraft market. Yeah, well, if we were running an air, air blind right now, I'd be hesitant to buy any of those engines. Yeah, I wonder, if they're, I wonder if they're small. So they churn out more than 50 of the aircraft each month. So we'll have to look into what this A320 is, yeah. Um, because you know the big the, the big airlines aren't turning out 50 of those bigger, you know, 737s or something. But we'll see what that is. Pretty wow. remarkable either way. That's a 30 percent. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, joined by Tom O'Brien. So markets just kind of hanging around at that positive, maybe Dow up 150. Currently, s and is positive by 10. Markets up between 4 tenths and about 6 tenths percent. Getting a little bounce off uh, that low we had. I got the S&P 500. So at about 10.25 in the morning, we're down to 26.20. In the next 10 minutes, we trade up 17 S&P points, 26.37. And from yeah. there, we're down nine points, 26, 28. That would have been unheard of two weeks ago back. Exactly. I know. Pretty, exactly. pretty cool. You know, if we follow up, listen, this is wild, folks. Okay, so we were just talking about the Airbus story, right? Well, when I dug into it, the engines are United Technology engines. So check this out. This is crazy. So United Technology, that their, their part is evidently Pratt & Whitney. Okay, but that's it, because I, I kept seeing Pratt & Whitney as well, right? Go ahead, yeah. yeah. So United Technologies is still higher also. Uh, so what this is all about is that, yeah, United Technologies' new jet engine is back in the news all for the wrong reasons. Um, a limited subpopulation of, it's called the geared turbofan, G. TF engines on the Airbus uh, A320s have a flawed pot that's been tied to in-flight shutdowns and thwarted uh, takeoffs. The issue is limited and that's confined to the most recent round of engine production and involves engines delivered to customers since December of 2017. Yeah, so I suspect I just say pretty remarkable there. The Airbus. Yeah, no, pretty remarkable that United UTX is positive right now when I it's know. it's actually their engines. Yeah. Um, you know, I wonder. I wonder how all those contracts work out, though, right? Whether whether they're going to be the ones that suffer, or whether Airbus is going to be the ones that suffer, right? I mean, that's that's what's interesting there is is who 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 takes on the cost, right? Does does yeah. UTX just get to spend the money and then charge Airbus more money when they sell them it eventually, or when they close that out? It's interesting to think about. I don't know why UTX would be positive on that type of news when Pratt and Whitney's a, a division of their company right now totally yeah I, I guess in, inside this statement they're saying that they seem to know what it is uh, it's hard to assess the latest setback 
uh, how this is going to affect its short-term profitability. Um, United Technology on Monday connected the glitch, which affects the knife edge seal on the high pressure compression to an engineering change it implemented in mid-2017 to improve the durability. Evidently, it didn't improve the I'd durability. I'd say so, right? Yeah. Um, it's troubling that this is tied to the design update made at the behest of United Technology, although it's not clear yet if the issue is the direct result of that change. They, they got problems, man. Yeah, and again, you know, it's just word to the wise, as in that's a PR right. statement from a company with problems, and, and, and right. take it at that, because they're... And you know, companies never came out and say, all, all hell's breaking loose and we have no idea what's going on. So until until the reality comes out, that's just uh, their statement. Yeah. And what it does have in there, like we were just talking about, Tom, about the uh, who's going to get the fault here. Yes. This is intriguing. United Technologies could be forced to compensate airlines. Okay. And it says, again, yeah. for any disruption. So it would be pretty wild. If they not only have to compensate them, I, mean, I suspect they got to fix the engine, but they're talking about compensating them if, if flights are down. Yeah, so it is interesting. They're sitting on a large pool. So it says, and while the company is sitting on a large pool of spare engines, it's not clear if any of those were also affected by this latest setback. So I wonder how that works. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe they shift back to before, you know, early 2017 and prior, if that's what they're really right. worried about. And maybe that is something that they can just kind of, you know, I'm sure they'll face some costs, but if it's something that they can at least get out of Dodge and, and kind of fix the problem and then tackle it, maybe that's why it's not getting hit too dramatically. Yeah. Pretty wild. Man. It is. It is. It's, 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 it's definitely remarkable. And it's, it's so amazing. You know, it's unfortunate there was a plane crash in Russia this weekend. Oh, yeah. That was um, a big one. And it's, it's remarkable how safe air travel really is um, in this country right. when you look at just how many flights there are and, and you know, what goes on. And so they, they do a great job, and hopefully they stay on top of it because, man, that stuff's dicey when you talk about engine problems. Oof. Yeah. Man. Totally. Telling you. Let's go over to that bond market. So uh, if we, we take a look at the 10-year first, what you're going to see out here is that we hit a low today of uh, 120.20. Now, the 10-year is still down, uh, but what it's, what it's done, it's testing the, the low of last Friday, which is 120.17, as well as the uh, low of last Tuesday, which is 120.18. Okay. And so this is going to be intriguing, you know, if in fact uh, this thing can hold, because the volume is dramatically lighter. Yeah, because um, we had, I saw headlines this morning, the 10-year yield hitting four-year highs above 2.9% for the first time in four years. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, and that's what's freaking the market, you know. You know, bottom line, you go up on interest rates quick, we are all addicted to shot money, meaning... Free money. Know, yeah. Right. You know, it's 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 very inexpensive money. There's no doubt about it. It will be interesting as to interest how interest rate. Oh, for sure. And it's you know it's been like that for so long. It's become so normalized. You know, I mean, buying a car it's almost unheard of, right? If you had to pay five seven percent on a, an auto loan, let alone yes. everything is you know zero percent financing on cars. So it could be a reverberation, let alone, you know, credit card debt people have that's tied to it. Um, and, you know, home uh, mortgages, of course, and, you know, business, everything kind of ties into it. But it is pretty remarkable when you start looking at how that shift could take place. Because, yeah, we get, you know, four rate hikes, three rate hikes next year. We get a couple the following year. What does start happening to auto loans, to mortgage loans, to, you know, all that stuff? It's pretty, pretty remarkable. They go south quick. Oh, it's a big <laughs> difference, right? Pricing's huge, you know? I mean, that is, you know, you talk about paying interest on a, a car loan for five years. That is something that we haven't seen in a long time. For well, new no cars, doubt. you know, that type, you know, dealers have been subsidizing that for a while now. They have. I they say have, subsidizing. Man. It's been a low subsidy you know, cost I, for I them. I forget when they went to five years, but, I'm, you know, I was always used to three years, and then all of sure. a sudden four years came in, and five years... You know, I guess as a consumer, now, right? why not go to five years if it's zero percent, right? I mean, that's a great deal. This, yeah. You know, car companies, and and it really didn't cost them a lot of money to push that out. When what are they paying, right? Two, three percent, something like that, and then so you can just sell that back into the market if you want. And, and what a great yeah. way to offer it to consumers. But yeah, that will change, and it, it'll either change where it'll disappear, or car companies will have to start paying that, paying for it. And and if car companies are paying for it, then guess what? Consumers are going to be paying for it somewhere. Yeah, there's no, there's no doubt about that, man. And, uh, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. 
the, uh, we got a good bounce going uh, both ways, which is pretty cool. So let's go just take a look at this quickly on the E-minis. So we're at 26.36. You got a nice downdraft. You broke the range, meaning we broke the range from 9 o'clock this morning. That was 26.26. So this is pretty cool. So watch this. What we have, folks, is that you have a, a high volume down bar now at 1020. Now, that, what stopped it in its tracks is that that was going into your monster up at the close of Friday. So okay. This will have to build some cars now to break down, but I suspect it will because of that high volume. Well, I expect we'll at least test the low of today, which is the 26 20 year. Okay. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 208. NASDAQ 47, S&P's 14. Don't forget, open house, Tiger's there. Check it out, front page of TFNN, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And last March, the folks at Timers Digest began tracking my newsletter signals, which through January 18th, 2018 placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now, I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals, but clearly, I've learned how to time the markets, and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education, sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Tommy O'Brien with Tom O'Brien. Dow positive 183. S&P's positive by 13. NASDAQ positive by 35. 
kind of chopping around for about the last 20, 25 minutes since we reached that bottom. As you said, the S&P is about 10.25 this morning. About it is. About a half hour ago now of 26.20 in the futures. Yeah, we're nine points positive still, but we were just up at 26.36. We're back at 26.30 now. Pretty remarkable. And where are we? Let's jump over. Where are we on the VIX as we get some, uh, some two-way action in this market? VIX currently trading 28.21. Um, far yeah, that's not moving down. Interesting, no, right? No, no, no. Yeah. And, you know, we have seen a little bit as in nothing as dramatic as we saw on Friday that had it spiking to 40, let alone earlier in the week that had it above 50. Uh, but, man, we haven't seen VIX at 28 and, and sustaining for a period of a week in years. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think that's going to change for a while. So yes. it's going to be intriguing. You know, and it's just like this jumping around in the S&Ps. Um, this keeps both bulls and bears, you know, on their toes in a big way. Um, that's pretty amazing, actually, when you bring this thing back. If I bring this back, look at this. I mean, you can bring this thing back. Oh, my God, seven years ago, is the, it hit 48, and we hit 50. Yeah, we hit 50-30. Before that, it was 2015. I, I remember that. That's interesting. It just didn't hit 53 as quick as it did this time in, in August of 2015. That was the that was the last time we had any type of retracement. Yeah, and that was we had. I think it spiked. I I get the graph here. 5329 we had in yes. in, uh, in August, and then yeah. yeah, before then you have to go back to 2008. Even in you know 2010, we only got up to about 48. Same thing. 2011, same thing. Here we go. Pretty amazing. It is. Stay right there, folks. we got got uh, swim lessons coming up next. And, of course, you'll hear Basil's program. Did it early for you this morning. Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Tommy, have a great one. A safe one. You too, man. Thanks, Stay everybody. Stay right there, folks. Swim lessons coming up. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.